Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza here at the Hatfield Public Library and I have two small box of kids books. They are each exactly this size and one has picture books and I think the other just has chapter books. So I'm going to do picture books first. Uh, Circle of Love, Lovely by Monique, Monique Gray Smith, illustrated by Nicole Neidhart and... It's about an intertribal community center. Um, lovely illustrations. That's nice. I like the idea of the community center um, and the role it plays. Sometimes We Fall, written by Randall Deceive and artwork by Kate Gardner. Oh, look, I love this. It's the bear. The bear is reaching for a piece of fruit. That branch does not look like heavy enough to support um, the bear. And my guess is it's a book about, you know, sometimes sometimes having accidents and how you how you recover. Ooh, this one um, has been getting some buzz. It's Millie Floor's Poison Garden by Christy Manlin. And you see, I'm guessing this is the title character there with her spade and some sort of nefarious looking plants. I'm very intrigued. It says, please stay on the path. The plants have teeth. Uh, oh, okay. Everything in Garden Glen was exactly the same until Millie Fleur Le Fay came to town. Um, and the townspeople don't like her garden. So what is she going to do to convince them? This looks fun. It's called The Dictionary Story by the very popular Oliver Jeffers and written or illustrated with Sam Winston. And da, da, da. Oh, Dictionary decided to bring her words to life. That would be wild. Have you seen my acorn? Oh my God, that is such a sweet cover. I just love this little squirrel's face. It's by DK Ryland and also his spiky little tail or her spiky little tail. Um, so someone took squirrel's acorn and he is launching an, an investigation. A mystery, a mystery picture book. This Land, The History of the Land We're On by Ashley Fairbanks and illustrated by Bridget George. And um, this is looking back at who, this is who previously lived on the land that you are living on now. Oh dear, A Terrible Place for a Nest by Sarah Levine, illustrated by Erica Meza. Um, looks like two birds who maybe picked a bad place for their nest. Um, oh, and then there's also, it's about a boy who has to move and doesn't want to. So my guess is there's a connection between those two stories. A little bit of like a more somber, somber palette. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm going to guess there's hopefully a good ending since it's a picture book. Aloha Everything. This is by Kaylin Melia George and Mae White. This is kind of cool. We don't get many of these. It's a picture book just specifically about Hawaii. So just, I guess, uh, maybe some of the mythology of, of Hawaii and some of the stories. Oh, what did Hula teach her? I'll have to read it. I don't know about any of this. Last picture book. I'm sorry you got mad by Kyle Lukoff and illustrated by Julie Kwan. Um, as hopefully some of us know, I'm sorry you got mad. Not the correct way to do an apology. Um, so this is about how you do a real apology and sort of a kid's Sounds like his emotional journey since he does not want to do a real apology because he is not actually sorry. So.
So one empty box. <laughs> Looks like we have, I think, five chapter books. We have Lay and the Fire Goddess by Malia Manukea. Ooh, look at this. There's um, a volcano and a bat. So oh, this one is also uh, Hawaii-centered. It's about a part Hawaiian 12-year-old um, who ha lives in Colorado but is visiting her friend in Hawaii. But she doesn't have any interest in um, the Hawaiian history, but she accidentally insults Pele, the fire goddess. Oops. <laughs> Moco Magic Carnival Chaos by Tracy Baptiste. Uh, oh, who wrote the Jumbie series? We're big fans of the Jumbie series. We have a lot of kids who are Jumbies fans. 12 year old Misty and her mother have just moved from Trinidad to Brooklyn. And um, they're getting used to living with her cousins. Strange things are happening. Sounds like sort of like uh, sort of mystical, weird things are happening. Maybe. And. Um, she finds out her, her cousins come are mocos, people who have special powers to help their community. Chronicles of a Lizard Nobody by Patrick Ness, um, who, illustrated by Tim Miller. Patrick Ness famously wrote um, The Darkness Calls. Is that what it's called? That um, oh, a Monster Calls, which made me cry a lot. But I'm guessing from the cover that this uh, has a different vibe. Oh, um, so it's about... It's, it's, um, it sounds like it's a school where it's like lots of different animals. It says Principal Wombat has just made Zeke, Daniel, and Alice Alicia hall monitors because they're monitor lizards, but lizards um, are at the bottom of the school pecking order. So it sounds like a little bit of a middle school journey, um, but reimagined with animals. We have The Tenth Mistake of Hank Hooperman by Jennifer Choldenko, who um, is a Newbery Honor uh, winner, wrote Al Capone, does my shirts, um, and has been going strong ever since then. So this is Hank Hooperman, Hates Making Mistakes. Um, oh, no. Wow. This got dark fast. So his mom left him in charge of his three-year-old sister and didn't come home. They're out of food and money. So he takes a bus. Uh, to find the stranger listed as an emergency contact on their field trip form. Ooh, that's a lot for like a young kid. Oh my goodness. It doesn't say, it doesn't say how, how old he is. And also I feel bad that he feels like this is all clearly feels like this is his fault when clearly that's as an adult would know that's not, that's not his fault. Uh, last book. Oh, nice. James Ponty, The Sherlock Society. His other series, the City Spy series, has been really popular. Sounds like this might be a new series. A long summer ahead, two siblings and their friend decide to add some excitement by solving mysteries. And their grandfather is a retired reporter. Oh, they're trying to find long lost treasure. Oh, so it sounds like basically these two siblings and a friend start a Sherlock Society. Uh, to And I'm guessing that things go in an exciting place. I know that the City Spies books are big time page turners. So I suspect this will be too. Uh, da, 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 da. Another empty box. And that's it. That's all I have. Bye.